experience. Good morning, everybody. It's another beautiful day here in Buenos Aires, and if you've seen our recent vlogs, you realize just how beautiful and drop dead gorgeous this city is. It has huge Spanish colonial buildings, tons of beautiful parks to visit, tons of places to eat. But today, guess what? We're going to experience Buenos Aires in a very unique way. We're going to a place called La Boca. It's going to take about 15-20 minutes to get there. I think Gladys is inside ordering an Uber and she's just about ready to go. So let's get out of here. So we made it here to La Boca. Now a little history about this place. It's actually located in what used to be the largest piers of Buenos Aires. Now this was a place where all the goods, the products, and immigrants would, would come in. These are dogs going by. But all the immigrants who came in, they would actually set up shops and build their homes using scrap metal from the docks they worked on, from the shipyards. And that's what you see behind me. So apparently, in the 1960s, a local artist decided to paint all the buildings on an abandoned street different colors. And as a result, all the other local artists started gathering on that street. Now that in itself resulted in the entire town painting their houses different colors, which led to what you see here today. You can find a lot oh of- Oh my gosh, <laughs> he's still talking. It is so beautiful here. I want so many photos. I mean, and Kenny is lagging behind, talking to you guys. Guys. Babe, what I want is some photos first, and then we can record. Let me get some pictures of Paris here, please. I'm looking for something pink. At oh least. Oh my God. Let's go. She's the worst, guys. <laughs> it's so beautiful here. About 50 feet later, we find this gorgeous, colorful gift shop. It's like a gift center, right? Yes, yeah, up an alleyway that's colored, the floor is colored, everything is colored. And it's so many shops in here. Tons of people in here taking Instagram photos. It's definitely one of my favorite places. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Now we're stuck here, guys. <laughs> So I finally convinced Gladys to go into one of the two museums that they have in La Boca. <laughs> and uh, the reason why I wanted to go to this museum is because I've heard that they brought the colors from the outside inside. So it's a very colorful museum. It's very informative as well. Um, did you like it? I did like it. They had a section, I didn't see any description in regards to, I guess to show them how they used to live in the past. Oh yeah. The bathroom was awesome. You saw all those different colors. And, <laughs> and the, the shower head was pink. <laughs> and the kitchen was lovely. I told Kenny if he can get me or give me a kitchen like that, I would cook every single day. Lies, guys, lies. <laughs> so yeah, so this place is pretty remarkable. This entire walk we're here is like painted. Multiple Blue, colors. green, yellow, red. Yeah. And it's it's uh, it's quite enjoyable to walk here. Actually, you're so distracted with the view of the water and the different colors on the ground. Yeah, <laughs> listen, this place is so awesome. It's 
if you're after Instagram photos, this is the place to come. There are so many spots I don't know. that are Instagrammable. But I'm getting into this whole Instagram photo thing all over again. She is, unfortunately. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. <laughs> so with that, we're probably going to try to grab a bite to eat because I'm getting a little hungry. That sounds good. And uh, yeah, so trying to find a cafe or a little restaurant, street restaurant or something like that. It's really brunch. loud over there in the um, El Caminito because of the restaurants, oh, yeah. so the seats are out and everything. Yeah. So speaking of which, El Caminito is one of the main streets here where you're going to find all those shanty houses that are painted different colors. Cobblestone streets. Cobblestone streets. Yeah, you're going to find a lot of vendors there on the uh, weekends, Saturdays and Sundays. There's actually a fair going on right now. That's true. People and you come out with their trinkets, handmade crafts. And uh, you're also going to find a lot of the uh, tango dancers along that strip too. And they'll just perform for tips. So Yeah, I think they're a little aggressive. They are. Um, we will walk into the museum and one girl just like grabbed him and I'm like what is almost going on? Almost stole me from her guys, almost stole <laughs> Well someone stole Kenny from me. <laughs> yeah right, I would definitely put up a fight. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so El Caminino is uh, where you want to come. It's one of the main areas when you get here, you want to visit. Um, yeah, you can definitely spend a few hours here. Definitely. Um, so it's quite enjoyable. But so we're just going to go ahead and grab a bite to eat. Let's grab a bite to eat. Let's go. See you. So you know, we've been here for quite some time, about two hours, two and a half hours. Maybe and, a little more. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little more. And walking through La Boca reminds me of the uh, Rainbow Village in East Java. It does. Where everything was painted, but it was just smaller houses. Smaller houses, no yeah. restaurants really. Just no more restaurants. like uh, gift shops. Right, souvenir shops. It was actually a village. And uh, yeah, that's also a tourist attraction. But um, so something really nice happened. We actually saw this guy painting with his mouth because his arms are disabled and he called Gladys over and... Oh my gosh, I almost teared guys. We just yeah. started to talk. He was asking me where I was from. And um, he goes, I'm gonna give you a little gift. And he drew the symbol of prosperity and he was just giving me his blessings and wishing me the very best in life. And I told him that I have everything that I can ever ask for. A wonderful husband and two <laughs> adorable, responsible, respectful children. What yep. more could I want? Look at what's going on! <laughs> and and, and uh, two carry-ons full of everything we need. That's right. All right, <laughs> so before she breaks down, we're gonna head out of this place and go we someplace are going else. To... That's... Guess what? Don't tell them. We're gonna take a tram ride! <laughs> That was so, so much fun. <laughs> that was great. It was only a 15 minute ride, but it was awesome. definitely enjoyable. So cool to be in a what a hundred year old freaking tram. Yeah, yeah. They were actually they're actually restored in the 80s. I mean, they are like these guys did an 
awesome job. Yes, yes, it does. In so, fact, we're going by, and even the locals are taking pictures of the trams going by. It's beautiful, and they have three trains actually, right? One is green, one is yellow, and the other one looks like it's straight out of I like a know. tank. Yeah, <laughs> it looks really weird. It looks like a I don't know. I don't like it. You know, these trams were the main means of transportation here in Buenos Aires for over a hundred years. And then they all disappeared around the, like in the 1960s. But then in the 80s, the friends of the tramway actually resurrected three of these trams, restored them completely. I mean, the detail on these things are impressive. Most of it is original. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they did so just for tourists. It's a 20 minute ride and it's free. Yes, what? only Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays. I will leave the link in the description below if you decide to come here. Mm -hmm. And um, check out the schedule. Yeah, it's a nice way to see Buenos Aires, you know. I mean, these tramways were around for hundreds of years, and now that they're restored, not too many people come on them.